Well, hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as I alluded to in the title, this is indeed a very special episode. Today I have the great honor of presenting to you a brand new map. This is FS19 Ritziville. And it is, of course, by Old Man 102. Now, he sent me a document which I'm actually going to read to you guys. It will be posted in the description down below, but because not all of us take the time out to read the descriptions these days, I'm going to read it for you. I think it contains some rather interesting, informative, and more importantly, well, important information. So here we go, in my best speaking voice. Ahem. <laughs> Hello, I present you with the map FS19 Ricciville. map was built to honor the Ricci family. My maternal grandparents had 16 children. Wow, they don't do that anymore, do they? Yes, my mom is one of 16. The family reunions were awesome. Let's honor Grandfather Samuel, Grandmother Lucia, might be Lucia, Uncles Angelo, Tony, Sammy, Donald, Johnny, Jimmy, Pete, Lou, and Bobby. Mom Eleanor, Aunts Rosie, Lucy, Antoinette, Louise, and Mary Jean. Now, it is a 4X map. It's built on a blank base provided by Dashnet Moddings. Uh, Pleasant Valley maps, one I've enjoyed and played many times, and thanks to Dave and his map class videos. Here's a little bit of an about the map. It contains the following, two trains, and they go quick. <laughs> one barge, 59 fields, two BGAs, three forests, 16 custom cell points, 21 water fill triggers, 133 farmlands. I mentioned this was a 4X, didn't I? And... Working traffic and pedestrians, standard fruits plus sorghum, millet, rice, hemp, coffee, cranberry, hops, carrots, onions, poppies, mustards, peanuts, rye, and clover. Wow. Products to mine containing a few hundred million liters of each of the following material. Stone, coal, salt, silt, gravel, ore, and sand. The map is built to use the placeables and factories as Dave with Dajnet creates and releases them. Oh. So that's a bit about the map. Now, a very important bit about the mod author, because I know I may have, well, my viewers may not be plentiful, but they certainly have big hearts, and, uh, well, about the map author. I'm Oldman102. I've been fighting prostate cancer for the past seven years, and I'm in constant pain. Working on the map takes my mind off the pain for a few hours a day. In the past six months, I have become unable to work. I'm living with my sister's spare room and I have thousands of dollars in outstanding medical bills. Donations are not necessary, but any donation as little as a dollar will go towards medicine and medical bills. And there is a PayPal, pay, PayPal? PayPal link, which I will also have in the description. There's also, if you want to know where to get the map, you want to follow it, that sort of thing. I will also be po posting um, Oldman's Facebook link for you. And that's where you can get more info on the map. That's also where, like I say, there'll be updates, etc. So, let's jump in. Here we go. All right, now I'm starting in the new farmer mode here so that we could get a chance to see exactly what's been built for us. So, here we are. I love the truck. <laughs> That's exactly the color I would have made it. That or purple, you guys know that. So, let's have a look at what we've got. I say this is a 4X map, and it is a big one. There you go. Well, we still don't have all of it. There we go. All right. So, yeah, we start with, ta-da, Field 4. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on there, right? Here's what we actually start with. Now, this is kind of nice, actually. There's a concrete area here uh, that also has, as we can see if we zoom in, a farm silo, all right? Um, chickens, your house, and you get... Critter, 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 cow, pig, and sheep. So, very nice. And those are, as you can see when I hit the X, those are all contained in your thing. And it's already pre-bought for you, 
which of course is probably a good thing because in this starting mode they don't start you with a bunch of money but as you can see there is a plethora an absolute plethora of places to drop things sell things etc there's also more of these farm silos around right so you can start if you're going to go multiplayer with this you do have different places to start right which is really nice really really nice there's farm three over there okay uh is there a farm four nee, 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 nee. well i might just be missing it you know that wouldn't be surprising i know it wouldn't surprise any of you guys but yeah there's here you go a big list of places to sell things with again a lot look at this crop 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 crops look at that even poppies wow cool we got poppies we got hemp we got and then we got all of these things as well stone and all of those different materials that you can dig up and process and sell as well so lots of different ways i mean you're not just stuck with forestry here you can uh, you can get into mining cool all right and again as you can see here um although you don't start with a whole bunch of stuff do we start with anything oh yeah you do you start with a little bit of fur hmm interesting okay a little bit of grass right on so you do start with a few little bits and bobs uh, even in crops, corn, soybean. Okay, so basically it looks like what they've done is they're giving you enough to keep the critters going because they do put chickens, cows, pigs, and all of that on there. So very good. And a ton of sale points. Look at this. So that's always good because it means there's lots of competition between where you're going to sell things. You know, that's always nice to see. You know, like we'll take wheat, 714 so far, our lowest, yeah, up to 748. So that's not a huge spread, but that's a pretty common crop, right? Wow, I mean, there's a $400 difference on soy price. So, good, I like to see lots of sales points. Again, that'll give you lots of places to go. Now, chickens, you get a bunch. You get, in fact, 20, no, 30 counting your rooster you get 30 chickens we get three six nine twelve sheeps and that's it so they don't give you any cows to start but they give you chickens and sheep so very cool let's uh let's jump back out a nice little pond eh I think I just want to go fishing the heck with farming. Look at all these boats, man. Yeah, that's it. Never mind farming. Let's just go fishing, guys. <laughs> just kidding. Let's get ourselves in the truck and let's go have a look, shall we? Really nice little forested area back here to get yourself some trees. And who doesn't like to get themselves some trees? Now we can go all the way up here. Let's start with that. Why not? Let's start with a little bit of sightseeing, shall we? There's a lot of effort has gone into this map. Whoa. And most of it has nothing to do with my driving skills, believe me. <laughs> wow, this is a ways. Gives you a really nice layout of the valley, though, eh? You can see there is no shortage of fields. Now, I believe... Well, maybe not. I'm actually playing on a version of this as well. Um, Oldman was a nice enough to give me a... The plug is testing the map, but I've, I've been playing around on it, to be honest with you. Um, and just enjoying the heck out of it. Holy cow. We've got some pretty wild terrain and such going on up here, don't we? And there's a reason for that. And 
I'm not going to spoil it by actually showing you guys, but wow, check this out, man. But there's a special vehicle that's included on the map, and when you find it, you probably waste a lot of time that you should be plowing fields and stuff, just playing with it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Wow, this is quite the place. Creepy as heck. <laughs> Holy... Rapunzel let down your hair, man. No, the other hair woman. Oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look. We've obviously got a sail point here. Huh? Very cool. Yeah. Right here. And that is... Eleanor's Castle Cafe. Very cool. All right. This guy, we watch. Whoa, I'm a big tough dude, yeah. <laughs> Way to go, man. Nice addition, though. You get these folks wandering around. Gives it a little bit of life. I mean, they're a little repetitive because they tend to walk the same patterns, but, I mean, they're not AI. They're just A. <laughs> All right, let's get back off the mountain. Let's actually have a, a little more serious look at what the map has to offer. Now, I love that this is all set up for the mining and all of that good stuff, which I believe is down that way, but we'll see if we can't find another way to check that out. What I'd like to do is actually head down towards our farm. So, let's do that. Yeah. That is quite spectacular. You get bridges to get around. There's quite a little bit of different water features, as you can see. Not just that one river, but that whole area over there has almost got a moat around it. And that river here, this goes all the way around the map. There's the barge that was mentioned. You can see it piloting down the river. Very, very nice. All right. I don't think we need quite that big a map. Whoa! Alright, species, slow down, dude. Man. Alright, here we go. Do -do -do -do. It's not a gorgeous meadow. Then you get all those trees to knock down around it if you want. Do some logging as well. Let me... Okay, that was really weird. I don't know if that's going to show up on the video, but my monitor just went completely black for a moment and then came back on. God, I hope my video card isn't failing. This may be the last video you guys ever see from me. <laughs> oh, anyway, here we go. We should be fairly close to our start farm, which is actually right here. Huh, oddly enough, this is the same place I started on the map that I'm playing through on. All right, and you can see you get a uh, a decent amount of starter kit. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And a little bit bigger gear, as the fields here are no slouches at all. So, and in fact, field four... What is field four? It just comes up here as dark. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now it's, uh... Oh, that's because I'm on growth now. Nope. All right. Hmm. Oh, and right over the bridge is the biogas plant. And it's a really good price, too, right? And I would advise, since this is all grass back here, basically, well, it's cow fields and such, but you'll see there's lots of grass around. Um, yeah. It's only 158,000. Now, you only start with 100,000 in this mode, but, of course, if you started in the, the usual mode we start in, then you'd have a mill, too, right? So, here you are. You've got a little shop set up right here. And then here's the silo system. 
Now, of course, I've got all the rest of my farm plunked in around here. All right, but let's continue on. And we can see that we have a chicken coop. A load of chickens. Oh, man, there's quite the packle of them, isn't there? Wow. Very nice. All righty. Do, 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 do. Yep, there we are. Got a nice little pond right on the property so you can do your fill the water for your chickens and such. Be it ever so humble, here be our home. And this is what I mean by it's not like you're lacking in the grass, right? Because you own this. You own this. So yeah, grass is a pretty good idea. And, uh, yeah, I, I'd probably be a saving for that, uh, saving for that BGA real, real quick. Let's pop over here, have a look at some of the rest of what we get. Here's our sheepos. Hello, woolly crunchies. How you doing? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. A little New Holland for tending the critters. Excellent. Do, 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 do. We have a plus for the pigs. We don't have any yet. Wee. And then of course we got a cow bar. Awesome. Outstanding. Outstanding. All right, let's continue. Do, 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 do. Well, coffee. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. Hey, there goes one of the train. Oh no, that's the barge, isn't it? That would be why it's on the river. <laughs> Alright, so we got a number of facilities here. We got Rosie's Bakery, Johnny's Port Grain, Rosie's Rail, and a spinnery all lumped up pumped up in here. Excellent. Of course, me being me, I have no idea how to get in. Hip, hip. Well, I'll just stand here in a handicapped spot and go, Kello. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of detail. Hmm. Well, I've obviously missed the entrance to this place. There we go. So we're going to sneak in. All right. Definitely a neat facility. Any actual triggers? Of course, then again, I don't actually see a proper way in here. I wonder if this is uh, something completely different. Because I know there's a barge included, right? So this may be just a pickup point. Yeah, I don't actually see a way in here. <laughs> it might be that sneaking through the fence is the only way in. Let's have a look here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, you can walk in there, but you certainly couldn't drive in. Huh. Well. All right. Well, I guess this is one of these deals. I've just simply come in somewhere I'm not supposed to actually be. So, uh, let's jump out. Okay. Well, this is obviously a proper tip. Okay. Lewis's Fence Co. Really? Fence? What kind of stuff does he fence? Lewis's Fence Co. Oh, well. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, wood chips. Hmm. Is that not lime? Interesting. Oh, and then all kinds of the uh, products from the uh, mine. All right. So this is a place to sell a lot of those mining products. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, it doesn't, uh, Johnny's Port Grain. Okay. Oop. I'm probably not standing in a good place. <laughs> That's, uh, Rosie's Rail. Yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> Uh, it's convenient. And then this one. Oh, this is Rosie's Rail. Okay. What was the one in the middle of the railroad? Rosie's Rail. Ah. Ah, uh, Rosie's Bakery. Okay, I just wasn't clicking right on it. I was still clicking the bottom of the other one. That makes more sense. And Rosie's Bakery, let me guess. Gonna take grain products? Are you? Are you? Rosie's. Just sort of what you... Oh, they don't take oats. It is too bad. I like oat bread. Yeah, yeah. All right. So quite a diverse... A bunch of stuff that they'll be taking. Excellent. So... What do we got here? There's your spinnery. Right on. Oh, what a cool building. No idea what they would do with that tower in the middle there. It's like somewhere you'd hang your fire hoses. Oh yeah, here we are. Weebity. Very nice. Alright, so that's the spinnery. And again, more water and a bridge to cross. Let's just look at a... This is what I mean by you're probably going to want to run the bigger kit. So you can see the fields are rather sizable. What the heck have we got here? Oh, this is poppies. Poppy ready to harvest. Huh, very cool. So there's another of the new crops for you. And yeah, again, these are huge fields. Um, oh yeah, that's, well, you see it's certainly not anywhere near the biggest field on the map. But 18 would run you almost a million bucks. Wow. Now there's a field. Yeah, three million. But if you were to go and have a look at that, you'd go, all right, well, I know what I'm doing for the rest of the time I'm playing the game. Yeah. All right, so let's go and visit some other areas, shall we? It's just so big, if I try and use a vehicle to do this, guys, we'll be here for weeks. All right, so let's go to the biogas plant. Again, highly recommend you just buy the place. All right, but it's got everything you'd expect. Giant digesters, huge. I think these are the biggest bunkers I've ever seen, actually, to be honest with you. I mean, look at these things. Dang, I could hollow this out and live in it. <laughs> in fact, I think that might be where I am. Okay, so yeah, there's your BGA. And it's just right across the bridge from your main farm. So easy peasy to move stuff back and forth, you know. And there's a couple of other sail points around, too, which is always nice. And if you fancy fast food, 
You got a bloaters and a KFC. Yeah. Lovely. Thank God I don't do fast food or takeout food or restaurants. <laughs> Here's a gas station. Awesome. Tanko fix. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, what do we got here? A dump point in a fuel station. Interesting. What would you be? Yeah, you're not even... Oh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. That's that one. Can I get the other one? Nope. Hmm. Apparently not. Um, here, let me move a little bit. Get my icon out of the way. Maybe that'll help me be able to differentiate between the two tags that are there. Alright. So now... No. You can definitely see there's two different tags, but I can only hit hit it as one. So well, that's kind of unfortunate. It's going to make it a little bit tough to tell which of those, well, what it is that this is supposed to be getting, because I can't really get it to tell me the name. Tony's tires. Oh, alrighty, it's Tony's tires. Hmm. Tony's tires. What is Tony's tires by? Fuel. Really? Huh. That's kind of odd. I wonder how you produce fuel. Anyway. Hmm. That is rather odd. Hmm. Okay. Let's go check out Mary's Beach Bonanza. That's your beach? Oh, I see. Here's the beach. <laughs> I'm just going to go. That's... Well, it may look like a beach, but... <laughs> but yeah, this makes a little more sense. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, folks. Oh, what a drag. Big... Oh, no, maybe there's more beach on the other side. Ah, oh, there is. Very nice. Very nice. That's quite the breakwater, eh? Wow. Protect all the girls playing volleyball. Oh, somebody left their kid here. Oops. <laughs> All right. Surf shop. Can I pick the boards up? No. Rats. Okay. So anyway, that's Mary's Beach Bonanza. Hmm. Antoinette's Orchard. Very nice. It's just up the beach from the beach. Cool. And what does Antoinette's Orchard take? Um, nothing up on that end of the realm. Oh, here we go. Really? Water? Lime? Oh. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Alright. And then we've got the Silt Pond Station. Okay, this is just... Huh. Interesting. We got a bunch of waterworks back here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I guess this is the Silt Pond. All right. Interesting. Huh. And what does Silt Pond Station buy? Silt? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking not. Uh, okay, so that's just a station to... 
door. All right, makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, so just like the farm, you could even start a farm here. Okay, that makes sense. So from there, okay, well here's farm two. Let's quickly jump over there. See, and very much like the other one that we started on, only difference being this one it doesn't come with 37 varieties of cattle. However, if you were playing multiplayer so that someone else was going to start this farm, you likely would be starting in the other mode so the cattle wouldn't be included. Like the way that I've started, it's not there, right? Here's our shop. An ever important feature. Can I jump this? No, yes. <laughs> Comes with a couple of free John Deere tractors. Ah, you wish. <laughs> Very cool. All right, but if we go around the back side of the Johnny D dealership here, there's your actual shop there. I did this actually when I started the map. I thought, oh, right on, John Deere dealership. And I turned in here expecting this to be the shop. Ah, uh, be ye not fooled. For this is the shop. There we go. Shop them like you got them. The shop. Alright, so yeah, got workshop, got everything you need to uh, buy, sell, and make your way merry with all your kit. Indeed. Alright, so here's our barn. Does uh, the usual barn things. You can sell barn objects, like bales, etc, etc. Of course, I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to guess that I'm not. Barn. And it takes wet, not rocks. There we go. Usual barny things, right? Yes. Barn, barn, barn. And, of course, the big one, silage. <laughs> All right. Leaving Lepidoptera, let's visit the animal dealer. We all know what this does. This is where you get to... Uh, Purchase your critters. Oh, look. Little critters. Hi. <coughs> <coughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Little tiny cows. <coughs> Very good. Very good indeed. But yeah, here's your purchase. Oh, look. We got the great white stallion. Don't look at me that way, horse. I ain't here to buy you. Believe me. What do we got going on? There looks like there's something interesting across the field. So let's take a little jog across the field. <laughs> cotton. I'm taking a cotton to this field. I don't understand that expression at all. How cotton can be... Well, I don't know. I guess I'll have to Google it find out how cotton became a synonym for like. No, I didn't say cinnamon. <laughs> Alright, so this is just sort of a little... Oh, that's a rock, that structure. Oh. Wow, it just did it again. My monitor went black for a second. That's really freaky. I've never had anything like that happen before. Hmm. Alright, well that's a neat area. All right, let's go have a look up by the sawmill, shall we? There we are. Oh, right on. Okay. Well laid out little spot. Awesome. 
Okay. Jeans Wood Products. Ah, alright. So that, <laughs> that didn't take long. And Silo 3. Alright. There's a nice crop of corn, eh? Ready to go. See, see what I mean by the train goes pretty quick? Yeah. Don't get caught by that thing, man. Don't indeed. Let's check out Central Station. Grand Central Station. you did. Incredible. All right. Sammy scrap metal, huh? Very cool. And what does Sammy scrap metal buy? Sammy scrap metals. I'm gonna guess we go right to the oh, right there. Okay, he buys hemp. <laughs> That's Sammy. And he buys, that looks like coal to me. And some rock. Hmm. Well, I don't know what Sammy is doing, but uh, I'm sure he's enjoying himself. Now, there's something very special over that way, but you know what? I'm going to leave that to be a surprise for you guys. Because I encourage you to download it and give it a shot. Again, the link to his Facebook page which is where you will be able to get links to get the map, etc., etc., is uh, included in the description below. So take advantage of such a thing. So we got another biogas plant. Oh, no, this is Silo 5. All right. So, yeah, there's a place if you wanted to, you could start a farm here. This is the biogas plant. Here you are. Again ginormous concretion things and just out of curiosity let's say we wanted to buy this biogas plant 298 it is considerably bigger though I believe so Bob's rail sale really let's visit that alrighty oh get off the tracks <laughs> alrighty then that isn't too scary. Jeez, Bob, give a guy a warning, will you? And then we've got another sawmill. What else have we got? Lucy's tackle and bridle. Oh, this is where we sort of started out. Pete's port sales. Awesome. Which... Let's have a look. Pete's port sales. Ooh, he pays much better money for hemp. You know where we're selling our hemp. Okay. Potatoes. <laughs> a rather odd collection of things that Mr. Pete buys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you indeed. Hmm. This is quite the structure, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure. Lucy's tack and bridle. Ah, okay, it's just on the other side. So the marker is a tiny bit off. It's just on the other side of the... Uh, the fence. And what do you guys take, Lucy? Lucy's tack and bridle. Ah, oh, oops. To feed her horses. Oh, it's silage. Okay. So, horse-related items, in other words. All right, we got it. Oh, yeah, and there's actually a horse ranch back here somewhere. Oh, 
horse-stall buyer? I don't know. I know for pigs it's a pen, for cows it's a bar. Not sure what it is for horses. But here you go. There's a, a horsey thing there. Cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's go check out Lowe's by Louie and a lime station. So here you are. Whoa. <laughs> there's a place to buy lime. Excellent. And there's also Lowe's by Louie. I thought Lowe's was a hardware store, aren't they? Kind of like Rona or Revy or Home or... Well, let's find out Lowe's. Oh, there's something more to it, isn't there? Um, what's it actually called? Lowe's by Louie. Okay, so it should be under L for Lowe's. Oh, there it is. Lowe's by Louie. What you buying, Louie? Okay. He's buying one of the mining products. Hemp. <laughs> Everybody like buying a hemp, man. All right. Buys a couple of grassy products. Interesting. So again, a rather original mix. Hmm. We've got Donald's Energy. Ah, huh. gas, ferts, all kinds of weird stuff. Lime. I don't get how you get to have these to sell, though, to be honest with you. Unless there's a way to produce them, which I don't think there is yet. But I think that's why they're here. Okay, there's farm three. Might as well give that a visit. There we go. Well. Well. There's your silo. There's your sheds. You get a railroad road running right through the middle of your property. That would scare the heck out of me. <laughs> Let me tell you. All right, we've got another sawmill out here and another silo. Wow. Oh, lots of nice woodsy areas up here. If we wanted to actually uh, buy us a little bit of property back here. Ah, that's all one piece. For just over a million. Wow. Buy you two sawmills and a ton of forest. Hmm. Wow. But I think, guys, as we're hitting the 45-minute mark here, let's, uh, well, I would again like to, uh, you know, give a, a big thanks to uh, Oldman for uh, allowing me to test this map and as well for presenting it to you guys. Again, the links are down below for uh, his PayPal and I do encourage, again, if you can at all possibly help out, it would really, really be a, a decent, really, you know, farm sim community kind of thing to do. And he's been a member of the farm sim community for years. So, any help would certainly be an awesome, awesome thing. So, there you go. But the links are down below. I encourage you to follow them. I will also post the uh, the document that I read at the beginning of it in lieu of my normal amount of links and silly rhetoric. So, really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smack that like button. But most importantly, don't forget to visit Oldman on his Facebook site. All the encouragement you can muster. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of each other, folks. Take care of each other all the time. Ciao for now.